I think I'm live, but I'm not sure. Do da, do da. I think I'm live, but I'm not sure, cause I don't have an earworm. Good evening, everybody. Can you let me know whether I'm live or not? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Testing, testing. One. Four, nine. You can see me. Can you hear me? It's very strange without an earworm, you know. Let me check that my global doodah switched on. It is. You should be out to hear me then. I am live. I am live. And I am alive. I'm smiling, I'm smiling. Okay, hello, uh, Maggie, Stace, Wayne, Wayne, Sarah, Scott. Uh, uh, Nick has been, uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's all right. Cool. So I think Leona's there as well. Leona's not in my ear tonight because, um, well, she's just not. Just one of them evenings, I'm afraid. But, uh, right, so this is an idea. I'm going to jump straight into it. This is an idea. Well, actually, I'm going to show you this. Um, it was on the Instagrams and the Facebooks and stuff like that. Let me show you on uh, camera, uh, camera, uh, camera one. There you go. Look, see that? I've been playing with the, uh, I think I've mastered the old off-centered multi-axis thingamajigs. There's no sanding on that, by the way. You can kind of see, you can see some tool marks, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it was a practice piece, it's just, you know, marked on the ends there. But uh, 120 degree, uh, four pin axes, twisted, opposite thingies. So yeah, there you go. Uh, been practicing with that. I have got an idea of what I'm going to do with that. So that's what I'm going to. That's what I've been playing with. I just had a practice last night. I think I've mastered it. Um, so what I'm doing this evening? Hi Julie. Hi uh, Christine. Ter everybody. Hello everybody. I'm not going to go through everybody's names, but uh, Pow. So. Plan is, I saw a broken bottle, and I thought, I wonder could I fix that with some wood? And I thought, oh, that'd be quite cool if we could kind of do a hybrid glass and wood bottle thing. So, yeah, I've been practicing cutting different bottles. It's been quite a disaster. I've been cutting with this here diamond uh, cutting uh cutting saw thing it does cut glass but glass is very brittle oh no that's the one i'm going to be using so i've got all sorts of angles and stuff these are broken glasses that i've been kind of cutting angles see it's very jaggedy a lot of angles on that but what happens is uh you won't see in the camera but where you get a cut like that sometimes it continues the crack and you've got to keep chasing the cracks until you've cut them out um and obviously they lose their support so, hi Mike, so yeah, the one I'm going to go with, just because it's the best of the bunch and it's not as intricate with carving tonight, is I'm going to go with this one, it's a green beer bottle, or actually it's uh, Leona's favourite, it's cider, I think it's a cider bottle, but anyway, it's a bottle. And uh, it was broken, and I've just kind of sanded off and cut a bit more of a shape into it. I'll show you on this one. It's a bit closer. So there you go. It's not as... Um, 
thingy. It's not as sharper corners and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll be able to match that in once I've turned this. Now the idea is that this will be the bottom of the bottle. We're going to turn this into basically just like a hollow, a hollowed out tube with the base. We're going to put a tenon on the end, hollow it out, get it to the same thickness as the glass. And then uh, I will start trying to match it up and marry it up and trying to cut and carve and get it to glue in and then we're just going to uh, fuse it all together hopefully and then I've got if they're up here let me put that over there safe because I'm a fumsy clucker over here I have these gizmos I think I showed you them before I got these on um, uh, from what's it called wish and they're really cool I've got a few of them I might have to adapt it a little bit, but I can, because it might not. Oh no, it will fit fit into said bottle. And basically, they're a little light. They're a cork of the light. You twist them and they turn on. And they're USB chargeable. They're like two euro each or something. Uh, but they fit nicely into the top of the bottle. So once I've got my wooden base um, in there, it will light up kind of the inside of it oh you can't see it one it will light up the inside now that needs charging it's quite dull at the moment but it will light up the inside of it and we could maybe put beads and things like that inside but it's just like a bit of fun and trying to find a way of uh, kind of recycling bottles and making them into art I don't know if it's done, been done before I had a quick Google and uh, I didn't see anything I can see wooden bottles but I can't see uh, hybrid glass and uh, metal uh, sorry glass and wood fused so let's give it a go getting ready for a fight so yeah uh, let's yeah let's um, uh, uh, thingamajig let's do it I'm gonna turn this uh, put a uh, what's it called tenon on the end put the chuck in and then we're gonna work and get it to the size that we need for our bottle uh right yeah cool okay then here we go uh c if you can all hear me okay i'll crack them only on crown diamond parting tool i've already got this rounded off this is the other part of the wood that i use for the rattle if you remember i turned the uh the baby spinning top rattle thing the other day and speed is about three million miles an hour. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Um, no, I don't need that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna guess. I don't even know where I put my chuck. Chuck, where are you? Oh, I'll put it back on the wall where it belongs. What's wrong with me? Putting stuff away and everything. That's fine, about there will do. Now this will have endless possibilities for design because what I'm thinking is I could do kind of an off-centered idea, you know, like a multi-axis bottom of the bottle. Can also do the top of a bottle, so the bottom is glass and then the top is is wood. It's just an idea. We're going to see if it works. If not, hey, we're going to have fun in the chat. Hi, Leona. Oh, you're saying hello to the other Steve. I'm presuming. Fenrika, which is Steve, yes. I was right. LOL. It's not all about me, you know. Jeez, Steve, it's not all about you. There we go. Tenon. Super. Let's, um... Let's... 
Thank you, Steve. Really appreciate the um, super chat. Thank you. And yes, it will go towards the um, creator van, as it's called now. Bus idea has gone out the Wundy, unfortunately, because of stupid insurance companies. Stupid insurance companies, as Jeremy Clarkson would say. Stupid insurance companies. But that's okay. We can. Uh, we shall overcome. Uh, right. Okie dokie. That's me, Chuck Berry, in there. Stick this in here. Tighten this up here. How is everybody anyway? What y'all working on? Just get that central central again. Ba 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 bam bom bom bom. What's going on, Chris from around Manchester? Oh, you're looking for a demonstrator for the old uh, meetup, is it? Is that what you're doing? Was the camera doing a weird jiggity thingy, was it? Sorry if it was. Don't have me here, William. Sorry. Right, I have the width of my uh, bottle already um, caliperized, and that is a word. The jacket on the chair looks like a person. Shall I move it? I'm sorry. Is it off-putting? I want to move it out of the way anyway. I've got my 3D printer working in the background, folks, as well, so sorry about that noise. If it's... Uh, right, okay, let's get it to the right roundiness. One inch roughing gouge, spindle roughing gouge. Crown, obviously, because I love them and they love me. Centrifugal platter. Leona, if there's any questions, my dear, if you can hold on to them until I ask for the questions, my dear, that would be absolutely fan dabby dozy. Thank you. Just in case I miss some, because I will. Now this is way too big for what I need, but we will sort out the length of it in a second. We'll just get it to the right roundiness. Full of the technical terms tonight. Ba 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 ba. Nick's not a happy chappy. Mouse, mat and glue. Have your kids been eating them again, Nick? Not Nick. Is it Nick? Yeah, Nick. Richard, Richard's beard times 16. Nick is Flame and Turner. See, I'm, I'm learning. I'm really rubbish with names, though. I'm sorry. Yay! We're there. There we go. Alrighty then. 
I'll do one last passy passy slow doodah lovely that'll do sandpaper will get the rest knock the old lather rooney off that's all right that's not a bad cut got an annoying little hole thing there gonna work out my length with my huge tape measure that I have here uh, how much have I oh no don't don't stand on that that's the trigger for the old Yoki bus and that will make a noise okay this is this is yes that's the yes that goes in there I believe is that the yes okay so I need it to be roughly I'm just measuring me me off cut bit this bit the bottom which is cracked anyway so I can't use that uh, to this and getting a rough length of what I need for the botel overall length of the botel uh, oh stop standing on that Steve put that switch over there and then you won't stand on it you muppet I'm just taking a measurement over here chaps and chaps chapettes because um, rather than move the camera there's really no need so I need roughly about that yeah I need roughly what I've got a little bit less so it's good and what I'll do is I'll try and work um, my cut into this hole and if not then it'll just have a little dip it dip it in it after all we are experimentating right clean up this end Buzz! A little bit more. And the reason why it's so long is because obviously we've got a cut up into where into um, into this piece just here. So it'll be kind of that long in all in total. Now I mean now I'm saying good. I'm glad you stand under me right there we go that's um, yes and then we can take uh, and it's just a matter of hollowing that out now to the right thickness so we'll we'll do that because I can uh, oh no don't move that yet uh, I want to go there like that hi so I can move this camera and, and you can't you won't get dizzy then and stuff See how I think about you. I actually care. Because I love you. I love you. Right, there you go. I've got my silly head on today, by the way. I'm really, very, 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 very sorry about that. But um, I'm just trying to find the right location for said camera. Oh, that'll do. Yeah, that's good. Well, right, we'll do a zoomy zoomy with that. Uh, once I get it. Uh, control one there you go that was yes and then we can rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
and hopefully it doesn't fly off. There we go. Because we're quite a ways from the chuck. I could, uh, we'll see how fast this goes. Um, I could use the I could use the Jacob's chuck, but do you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to use the uh, quarter-inch skew. Uh, skew, bless you, to um, get this started because it means I'm pushing in in towards the headstock, and it also means that. I'm not putting it under pressure and can take out quite a bit quite fast to start with. Can use a gouge as well, but sink this for speed. Uh, thank you Mike, thank you so much for the super chat, that really is appreciated, that will be going towards the creator van um, funds, thank you very much, M really appreciate that. Bloody warm in here tonight. Now I do need to put a little bit of shape at the bottom of this, obviously, before I pad it off and stuff. So, because um, it's got like the bottom of the bottle has like a little lippy bit at the bottom, but I'll do that once I've got most of the hollow in done. I still have enough on the thickness of the wall to do that. Does anybody else use a skew to hollow? In the shallow. Do you know what? I might try and uh, this might mess up. I don't know. Go. Saves a bit of time. Don't know if I'll be at a oh, yes. I go the length of that, but roughly, that's perfect. That's got me a hole down the middle now. Quick way of doing it. That's just a tool I made, by the way. It's just um, 
It's just an old chuck, and I uh, epoxied it into a handle. Keyless chuck. Great job for the likes of that, but uh, it can be a bit grabby sometimes. It does get a bit noisy that because obviously it's a thin tool and it chatters a little bit so we'll go back into using the hope um, I'll answer any questions in a bit folks Doing something like this is great for practicing um, deep hollowing, do you know? You can just slowly do um, deeper and deeper vessels and get used to hollowing deep hollow forms and vessels and stuff like that. A noisy bugger let me see if I can put my other little doodah thingamajig how's your father in there if I can find the oh will you stop standing on that trigger Steve it makes me jump every time I do it every time I do it I jump out of my skin uh, just looking for my bar nah. is that it? no that's not the big bar where's my big bar? well that's annoying <sighs> Found it. <laughs> if this will work, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I can't get it low enough. To do the job, oops, do the jobio. Uh, that should work. Oopsie! It might have moved a little bit there, but just pretend you didn't see anything, okay? It's a bit screechy still, but...
Bring out the bigger one, bring out the bigger one. Okay, let's do it the other way. Sorry about all the pantsing around with tool rest folks, but you know, sometimes, just sometimes, you have to, um, you have to mess about to get to where you want. I'm going to use my bigger hope because then it's got a thicker bar. I won't get as much um, vibration from it, hopefully, because that's really annoying, that vibration. I'm picking up. That's better, huh? I hate that screechy sound. For those of you that didn't see it, it's, this is um, the longer bar. It's a Simon Hope, but it's a thicker, chunkier bar. Uh, and it has a 6mm, whatever that bit is that, peop that uh, someone told me is the last. Last live. This was, uh, I think this was the second hollowing tool I ever bought. I bought it at UKIS one year. Really should get myself a new a new uh, tool rest light. Hopefully, I haven't gone too deep there. Move that in a bit closer now. There we go. Right, let's have a look at that. Get the oover on it and clean out the inside a wee bit. And I'll, um, any questions, Leona? Housekeeping, not much, but some. Oh yeah, that feels like uh, the ocean in there. There's more waves in the ocean. Woohoo! But anywho, I think I have. Yeah, let me see how deep I've gone with that. Damn, it's warm. Did I mention that? Okay, I am 90. Oh yeah. Still got a bit to go, but in depth, but let's clean it out a wee bit.
No questions. Right, you are. Thank you. Let's clean the sides a bit. Oh, I went all quiet and full of concentration there. All right, let me get me big skew and run that down the side. Good way of cleaning up the sides of something like this. Lovely jubbly. Oh yeah, that uh, that got rid of some of the ocean. Cool. Ah, uh, thanks, Maple. Certainly, we'll get some screws for that. Actually, that's something I've got to go shopping for. I got to go and get myself um, a whole bunch of. Uh, different kinds of screws because mine are deplenishing or depleting or whatever the word is whatever those fancy words are depleting is the word I believe that's cool all right right continue with the hollower Drop it down a bit. So I'm still waiting for a delivery of adhesives and glues to continue with the with the van. Clean that out. There's something catching on that. Yeah. Um. Because, because obviously the w the walls are so thin, you're restricted on what you can use for fixing the ply to the side of the walls. So, I'm waiting for a, um, some kind of strong, strong spray adhesive or adhesive to um, actually stick the plywood to the kingspan on the side of the wall, you know, on the walls that I've replaced. That's how they do it in, in the factory with the caravans, is they, um, they actually glue them. So I've cleaned it all up, I've sanded it, and then I've just got to wipe it down and get rid of any kind of loose dust. I might give it a couple of coats of that PVA type, um, 
tacky gook that you put on that reduces dust and allows glues to to adhere to um, dodgy walls I might put some of that on and then uh, I'm just waiting for some for a delivery and once that comes I can start firing away actually building building the van again which is exciting excuse if that's my head oh no that's right Okay, that's pretty much the same wall thickness all the way down now I've just got to reduce it down to what it has to be um, I'm not far from it now I've got to take another couple of mil off off of the width now so that's what I'm gonna do just slowly reduce it down Hello to anybody that has joined and I haven't noticed that you've joined. Um, I'm sorry, it's hard to keep an eye on the, on the, I don't have Leona in my ear tonight. Um, but she is in the chat, she's doing an excellent job keeping everybody entertained and uh, answering questions and stuff. So thank you for that, Leona, you are a rock star, thank you. Um, so yeah, ha hello to anybody that's arrived and I didn't see you arrive, sorry about that. Do do do. If you are new to Halloween, Nick, I would strongly, strongly recommend the Hope Mini Hollower. That's this one. I think that's about a hundred quid, and you get that and the uh, Swan Neck. Swan neck is already set to 45 on the top, so you only have to go in and out straight. Uh, there's no it's a really lovely tool to use, and it, you saw there it absolutely hawks the stuff out. Great job! And uh, then if you want to go deeper, you can go to the the longer bar, which I think is about 70 or 80 quid with the same cutters on it. I'm not sure on the actually how much the long bar is, but uh, that's great. And you can get the other tip. I've got another tip there that's slightly bent as well for this one too. Um, and that goes into most of your cryogenic uh, handles too, which is cool. You, you know, your mobile handles, if you wanted it to, you just pull the rubber, the rubber end off of there and it slides into um, the Sorby and the Crown and all that, the, 
the holders so that's good too but it uh, really are nice little tools those um, and also crown do do the hollow hollowers as well I have the, uh, the the mobile set for for demonstrating but basically they're the same thing but there are seven mil or eight mil cupped bit in them and they go into a handle so they're the same thing crown do those as well so those are great little hollowing sets uh, and good for the money I think personally but that's just my opinioni oni yoni 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 yo no 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 Leona got the hope uh, mini hollowing set and I think she's happy with it yes she says she likes it so there you go I'm nearly there I think folks width wise yeah I'm the right I'm right at the front there anyway so now I can get my other calipers and get see if I can go down to the same thickness all the way down Okay, so I've got to just clean it up at the bottom just slightly. That's just where my skew has wandered. need to get my scraper in there in a sec hi Tomas how are you dude so I need to go from about three quarters of the way in I know this is kind of a bit boring folks I'm sorry about that it's just hollowing a, a cup basically but it's uh, it's a step towards the main goal and for those that have just joined if you have just joined um, the plan is that we are turning the top of this we're going to make this into a oh let me change cameras <laughs> uh, if I go to two no no that's not going to work 
I'll change, yeah, I can move this again, because most of the hollowing's done now. Move this camera back over here. <laughs> Control, one. It's okay, don't panic, I'm gonna move it. There you go. <coughs> and I'll zoom -y zoom out. Oh no, don't do that. Come back. Stupid, stupid boy. There we go. Okay, so the, the this is the plan. This will go on here like this, and it'll be a half, half wood, half glass, um, bottle. Hi, Doug. So that's what we're doing, like a, a hybrid type bottle type setup thing. So, just need to get my hope back in the bottom there and clean up the bottom. A little bit. Cool, Andy. Looking forward to seeing that. You know me, mate. I love my dragons. Okay, so that's just cleaned up the bottom, hopefully. Yeah, that's cleaned up. up. Not, can't get my fingers in there, but just got to clean the middle up a little bit more. A scary noise. Lovely jubbly. I think that will do that. I'll just check my thickness again all the way down there. Yeah, we're pretty good there, I think. Just make sure that's the thickness I need. Yes, we're all good. All right, so now I need to look at what the bottom looks like. This is the original bottom of the bottle. Um, so it just does a little curvy curve at the bottom, that's all it does. Nothing fancy, it's a straight bottle. There's a little bit of a lip there. I might just put that in for a little bit of added detail. So we'll uh, move this, I can turn my hoover off now. That's quite an annoying noise. Move that over here. Zip, zip, zip. Move that up there. Decide on my my length is going to be my total bottle length. Total bottle length. I think that's where that was. Yeah, that's the cut there. Uh, total bottle length. Bottle length is just over eight inches. Ba, 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 ba. 
It's a huge tape this. Handy though. Nine inches I think I said. So oh yeah, so we're just gonna be about right there once I part that off. So if I go with I get me spindle gouge. <laughs> so basically I'll be parting it here so it will be curving about there like this Just like that and just for a bit of uh, detail I'm just going to bring this around here like this just to give it a, the illusion that it's got like a, a lip sticking out like the original does Just blend that in. There we go. Very subtle. It's a very subtle bump, but it's there nonetheless when you feel it. Yep, that's perfect. Okie dokie. That's ready for a bit of an old sandy, sandy McSand sand. So, any questions? Let's go with what have I got? What have I got over here? It's 180. Could do with starting with a 120 if I've got it. If I got it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There you go. That's a, a 120 start. I'll turn it down a bit for sounding. What wood is it? It is... I think we decided the last time it's the same wood as I did the rattle with. I think we decided it's probably poplar. Let me turn the hoover on so I don't get dust -amicated. I think I seem to remember Brendan telling me when he gave it to me that it's poplar. It's rude. Really, a darker wood would be nice against the 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 green bottle. But to be honest with you, this is a experiment so I didn't want to go ruining a nice piece of wood or a super nice piece of wood uh, if it, if the idea doesn't work you know what I mean folks Now, the reason why I haven't parted it down too much there is because I need as much grip on it while I'm cutting away the sections to match up the bottle. I'm going to do a quick sand on the inside. Nothing fancy. Night, Dave. Thanks for popping in. You sexy stud, you. Bounce, go what? 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 Come back here. 
Bow chicka wow wow. Oh, stop that. Thank you. I need me, sta me sandy stick, really. That's what I need. Don't know where it is, though. That's really annoying when it does that. I have to find my stick. My stick. Oh, actually, that's quite... Ah, it's alright. That's nice, actually. I got pretty much in there. It's a green bottle, so it's not super transparent. You're not going to see right into it. Um, so as long as it's smooth and no mad tool marks in it, it's going to be nice. And like I say, this one is an experiment. Once I know I've got the... Uh, technique down and the idea works then that's when I can start playing and having fun with the design Let's see what that looks like that's all right it's all right now we'll go to that was 120 we'll go to 180 <coughs> oh, I can have a sweet in a minute. I can suck on a boiled sweet if I've got any left. I have got three left. Because it means I won't be slurping and annoying Leona. She doesn't like me eating sweets when she's my earworm. There we go, and then we're going to go to 240 quickly, and then we'll put a bit of Yorkie grit on it. Yorkie McGritson. The old 3D printer has done its job. Good, good. More product savers made. Why am I hot? What am I? What? What? Why am I? What? What? With sweets? No, they're rhubarb and custards. I loves me rhubarb and custards with boiled sweets. Two sweets I love. And I don't eat many, but I love me rhubarb and custards. And I like me sweet peanuts. Can't beat a nice sweet nut. Can I do blue product savers? Um, not sure if I've got blue filament, but I can have a look. No problem, Scott. Right, I'm going to give that a quick uh, clean down with some denatured alcohol or methylated spirits as it is known here just to get any dust out of the uh, pores of the wood before I put sand and sealer on and I'm going to give it a clean inside too just because I can yeah that burns the crap out of any cuts you've got woohoo that's stingy 
because he is the blue light turner, Glyn. Hello, Glyn, by the way. My love has got no money, no strong beliefs. Want more and more, just want more and more freedom and love. Okay, uh, Sandy Sealer. Where are you? I think I'll use this one today. The spray one. Just wait for that to evaporate. He always turns up when the... Uh... Hi Dave. He always turns up. Hi Derek. Anybody else joined that I haven't said hello to? Hello everybody. Where do people get the product savers from? Well, that is an issue at the moment, I'm afraid, folks. Because my website is dead. Um, due to unforeseen circumstances. And... Uh, people that will remain nameless because I'm not that sort of person my web page is now down but I am building a new one if you want a product saver then the best way to get one is to PM me on any of the socials or you can email me at um, templeboyturnings at gmail.com templeboyturnings at gmail.com now that's just a spray acrylic chestnut products um, uh, sanding sealer it's a quick jobby doesn't dry as quick as as the um, <sighs> cellulose one but it does the job I give it a bit of a wub that's what she said let me just get some towel from over here ah spider go on. Ah, son of a bitch no spiders allowed in the Twydale vicinity thank you That's good. Right. Let's put some Yorkie grit on this. And then I can cut what I need to cut. Thank you, Leona. If you, uh, in the top, in the header of the email, if you put product saver, then I can, um, I'll know what it's, you know, I can prioritise the email. Thanks. Now, some Yorkshire grit wood turners. Abrasive paste. And we're not going to get into that discussion this evening, folks. We're going to leave that one. Right. Not super worried about this like I say I've got some carving and cutting to do on this now so Did anybody else lol at Wayne last night on his live when he got stroppy? Wayne got stroppy about politics. He didn't want politics on his uh, on his feet, and rightly so. Bloody rightly so. I don't like politics either. 
But he put on his daddy, he put on his uh, big daddy head, it was brilliant. Go on the Wayne. I wouldn't want to upset Wayne, I'd say he's, I'd say he's got a badass side. Right, now we rub it off. I don't need to uh, explain how Yorkshire grit works. I've done it three million times, as has Wayne. Whack it on, rub it round a bit, polish it off completely. Job done. pretty much states how it's done. If you want to know how to do it with depth, I do have videos there showing you, as does Mr. Wayne the Woodturner. Ooh, that got warm. Now the reason why I'm finishing it before I go cutting it is because it's easier obviously once I've cut the, the slices out of it it's not going to be easy to run a towel over the outside of it. I'm not going to be putting any finish on this one anyway. Out, Bernie. Yes, still talking about the grip. Right, there you go, it's pretty. Now there is a bit of a inclusion type, hole type weird thing there, but like I said, I ain't worried. All right, so next thing is to try and work out where we're gonna cut, and I have a cunning plan, I think. So I need a piece of paper, if I can find a piece in this abyss, I think I have a piece in here, oh dear, that's not a great piece, have I got another piece, oh yeah, I've got a piece here, it's folded, but it'll do, yes, that's my bum, folks, right, so, my plan is to wrap the paper around the outside of the bottle. I'm going to have to tape it in a second. Then kind of give it a bit of a, a rub along where the cuts are or the breaks and then transfer that to the wood. That's my plan anyway. Whether it's going to work or not, well, that's for us to see, isn't it? Let's be honest. More times than not, my ideas go a bit ying tong. Right, so that's that. I'm going to get a bit of tape from over here. I need to turn that hoover off, it's really annoying. Excuse me. Right, uh, put the tape just there. Does the job. Turn off the hoover. Shut up. Shut up, your face. Right, so. Here goes. If I just rub. Actually, I could use my pencil. 
just like doing the brass rubbing rub along the edge of where the cuts are obviously the darker section will be where I transfer it to the wood hopefully you know trial and error Where's the, uh, ah, yeah, there we go. It goes up there. Around there. Along there. And just there. There you go. That gives me the outline cut of where it is. Sorry? Sorry, I'm looking at the chat. Draw along the edge and cut out around the outside. Hello? That's what I'm doing. Isn't it? Good Lord. Now I'm going to mark where the joint of my paper is too. Then I'll transfer that over to here. Wow, such isn't that what right now I need to just shorten this paper a bit. Where's my skizzers? There they are. I need to cut that about there. La 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 Right, and now that will slide on there like that. That is my template for cutting out, is it not? Yes. That will go in there. Job done. Jobs a Billy Bob. But before I do that, I'm going to take that off again. And I'm going to get some of this that I have down here. <laughs> Wrap it around. Is it big enough? I need a bigger bit. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Here we go. Piece or oh, brand new piece. Wow. Of carbon paper. Go about the same thickness, but with same width. Just cut that there. Uh, now I could just stick the paper to the wood and cut that out but this is going to be hopefully a more accurate way of doing it maybe not maybe yes but put that there like that slide that back over that again maybe if it fits now that i've got a thicker wall it might not oh, oh, oh. yeah there we go Whoop. Ba, ba, ba. sorry about that folks A 
Am I live again? How long was it off? Ba ba ba. Refresh, folks. Sorry, folks. Don't know what happened there. Software had an epi fit. Thanks for uh, trying to ring me, the owner. Appreciate that. It was the buzzing in my pocket that uh, drew my attention. So anyway, um, did you see how I transferred? How? Where did we get to? I was putting on the carbon paper on it. Okay, so I wrapped the carbon paper on, and then I put my my um, template on, and I just drew over it, and it's put it's drawn it onto the wood. I'll just thicken it up a bit so that I can see it a bit better because carbon paper can be a little bit light when it goes on to Yorkshire grit. That's something that the producer of Yorkshire grit needs to work on. Make Yorkshire grit so it's not allergic to carbon paper. Gets an allergy. Very sensitive that Yorkshire grit. Sorry about that, folks. But it's not a live feed unless there's a hitch or a hiccup. There we go. So that has transferred onto there. That will now match up with that, hopefully. Yes. And I need to cut all this waste away here. I like to mark what I'm cutting off because I make stupid mistakes because I'm stupid sometimes. But I'm stupidly honest too. Right now, let me find me saw saw bit for for me uh, rotary saw that's not the right one excuse me while you look at my bottom there it is saw 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 uh, then that goes on here. I need the washers. I should have had this prepared. Steve, why didn't you have this prepared? Doofus. Well, Steve, it's like this. I didn't. Get over it. Okay, Steve. Sorry. That's okay. I'm just looking in my box of bits for washers. Thought I had my little washers in here. Oh, there's me. There's me do dee do da dangle diddly dee 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 do you know what? I might try this diamond bit actually. That might actually cut it before I take it off. Let's see what happens with that, shall we? Excuse the noise, folks. Let's see if this burns it or cuts it. I'll try it over here. Oh, it cuts it. That might do the job. Hold on. I'm not cutting right to the line. I'm just, I will sand up to the line with a rotary sander.
Leave my ass out of this. I remember the days when I used to have a fine ass. Those were the days. So there you go. I know this is kind of burning through it, but... It's doing the job. And I got plenty of these blades. They asked me how I knew how true love was true. I, of course, replied, something here in the cannot be denied. I know that's probably a really annoying noise, I'm sorry. Can you still see me amongst all the smoke? It's cauterizing it as it cuts through, that's great. Stop the bleeding. Oh, I wouldn't do it like that. I'd do it like this. Yay! But that was a horrible sound for you all. Sorry about that. Let me put the extractor on and blow that smoke around the room a bit right where's my bottle let's see how we're doing 
All right, yeah. All righty, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's not far off. Now I've just got to sand to my lines. How are we doing for time? It's 11 o'clock. Half an hour. Will I get it sanded in half an hour? Down to where we need to be. I think I will. Where's me sanding? Drum, drum, drum. Where's me sanding? Drum, drum, drum. There it is. Hello. Let's tighten that up a bit. So how many of you were saying, that's not how I do it, Steve? I bet it was a million T20 of you. I bet it was at least a million T20 of you. Oh, my singing's not that bad. Yeah, it is. But the way I think, like the reason why I sing so much is because the voices in my head torture me enough. I want to torture other people. Now I'm going to have to move this over a bit. Right, Sandy, Sandy, sorry folks. that one was going to come off. I knew I should have changed that before I started. It was like, you know you should change me before you start, right? You know that, don't you? And I was like, well yeah, I know I should really change her, but I really can't be asked. And it was like, well, you're going to regret, regret not changing it, because I'm going to fly off. And I was like, that's going to fly off. Wow, that's better. So I'm going to sand this just to the line. I'm not going to get rid of the line till I marry everything up to it. Then I can adapt. I can kind of mark where I need to. Uh,
Now, I would think that epoxy is going to be the best job for sticking this. But, I'm not sure I've got any. So for this one, we might just go with super glue. Just to see what it looks like. I could always, if it fails, I can always, um, I can always add, I can always take it off and change it for epoxy anyway. But again, as I said, this is just a practice piece. Okay. Probably gonna have to get my little diamond it in there to the corners Kidoki, time to replace again when you start smelling rubber, you know you've gone down far enough with your sanding drum. Oh, and when it stops cutting. Okay, let's uh, let's just offer the bottle up to that and see how that's looking. It's not looking far off. We're nearly there. Just got to clean off just to the pencil line a bit more on that piece sticking out. I don't want to force it because the glass will break easy. I just want to put my little uh, doohickey drum in there, my little uh, diamond drum, looks like this, just to get into the corner. Anybody bored yet? Whose birthday is it? Happy birthday, Bob. Many happy returns. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bob. Happy birthday to you. Ah. thinning that out and getting it to squeeze in there go down to the pencil lines now as long as I've still got pencil lines I know I haven't gone too far Nothing wrong with the singing, cheeky gits. So close. Wouldn't it be amazing if this actually worked? and stuff What I'm doing there is I'm just cleaning the back edge off. Oh, the nip! God damn it! The news so close. We're so close. Just got to go snuggle bugs, a little bit more snuggle bugs. Still a little bit thick, just there, I think. There's me pen, Louis. Just there.
need the patience of Job. Oh. Oh, wow. Come on now. Okay, so now I'm getting to the point where I'm just slowly taking away the pencil. That's kind of the fine, the, the really refined part of it now. Get that into the corner a bit more there. So close, so close, so close. much The only way I can do it is a bit at a time, folks. I'm sorry about that. But if I go uh, rushing it too much, I can just take a big chunk out, and that's going to spoil the look. It is look. It's looking kind of cool so far. River bottle. <laughs> I know you could do this with resin, and you could just pour it and then hollow it and all that. But hey, I don't do resin, so. I'd rather recycle an old bottle than put more plastic in the sea. That side's fitting new enough bang on. It's just a matter of getting this spike in. Okay. Uh really hard to judge where I need to still a little bit too thick there I think I 
should have gone with a less detailed design for the first one but what are you going to do? I just want to get it near enough and then mark with the pencil okay so I need to take off there a little bit and the back edge there just a little bit I think uh -uh. Uh -huh. Okay. not going to be super perfect I don't think but for the first one it's going to be close enough still a little bit off there Right, take everything else down to the line now, it should be about right. I'll have a look at the chat in a second folks, I'm sorry, I'm just just aware of the time and I want to get this as close as possible
fingers crossed. Ooh. Sexy. The the concept is kind of working. It's it's there. It's just very finicky. I think I think the trick is if I'm going to be doing a couple of these is to make it less complicated on the carving side of it. Now obviously when it's complicated it looks better. Let me see what you're saying. I'm gonna have to have a sucky sweet. I'm sorry if I'm slurping in your in your ears, folks, but uh, it helps with the old dry throat. Right, I'm gonna put the drum back on and tidy up right up to the edges now and that will have to be as near as damn it I don't think in the time I have this evening with a lot of faffing about that I'm going to get it super accurate but I'll get it close enough so that you guys can see with the lighting and all that Yeah, um, colouring epoxy and put it in would be a way of going for sure. I'm not sure how close you'd get with the match. But also I could always do it with um, sawdust. Do it the other way, fill up to it with sawdust. Okay, I think looking at that, I just need to come around there a bit more. That's just stopping that from dropping in there. Like so. I think that is where the issue is. slots in there much better see that's it you need 
need a little bit of patience. Just a bit here and a bit there, and you, you'll get it pretty close. But when you when you're doing a live, you are aware that you know there's folks watching. Now, with that said, I'm not stopping you all from buggering off either. To be honest with you. I do appreciate the fact that you've stayed here for a while, over two hours, and that's fantastic. Thank you. Just take a lot of patience. A lot of patience, boys and girls. Oh, but when it fits in, it fits in quite nice. It's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to spend another five minutes on trying to get the tightest fit I can possible. And then we're going to go with that, okay, folks? So I'm just marking all the little high spots, just trying to get the gap. Drawing the difference in the gap. <gasps> Jeez, I thought that was going to be my glass broken, that would have been game over. I almost did drop the bottle, Leona. Oh, do you know what? It's not half bad. Cool. 
Cool. Which pocket? Oh, it's over there. Right, that's almost down. So it's that. That. Do you know, it's not bad. Could be better. It's not bad. I think I'm near enough going to go with that, to be honest with you. Just as a concept. And for tonight's show, I think I'm going to just give them edges a bit of a hand sand. Just to clean them up. Get rid of any pencil lines. But it does show that it's possible, I think, and it just means that I've got to be more accurate with my with my lines, marking out, and just sneak up on them a bit, um, a bit slower. I mean, obviously, with it being in a live, I've kind of rushed it a bit. He says with his little pinky in his mouth because two hours isn't exactly rushing, but you know what I mean. As a concept, I don't think it looks too bad. I might go at it with some sawdust and see can I do some filling. To be honest with you, it's not too bad. It's just kind of It's hard to know where it's got to go in. Ah, do you know what? I'm going to glue it there. Let's go for it. Let's just go for it. I'm not even going to glue it yet because I've got to part it off at the bottom. And then I'll glue it. Let's part it off and then glue it in. But... I am happy because like any experiment and any concept you're not going to get it right first time if you do get it right first time you're being lucky and it's something that I can work on and uh, and master Just get rid of what do we call it? The nubbity nub on the bottom.
Okay. Super glue, just for now. Um, like I say, I'm going to play with with it with concept. You will see. Let me just change the camera for you. Control two. Um, you will see me playing with this concept. I think. I think I can have a lot of fun with this. Um, I'll also play with um, filling with sawdust and stuff and I'll put some pictures up on Instagram in a, in a day or so when I've finished it and kind of got it to the best I can get it it's not it's not far out I think with a little bit more patience and better marking I think it could uh, it could work out Where Steve's got to get it right first time, otherwise he's going to just either glue it to his fingers or in completely the wrong place. Do you know what the I mean <laughs> once the lights in it the gaps around might even look cool you don't know we'll see what do you reckon anyway as a concept guys um, I think it has a lot of potential there we go that's stuck there you go I think it's kind of cool. It's different. Anyway, I've not seen... Like I say, I'll have a look on the uh, internet and uh, see... Let me just give the bottle a bit of a clean. Then we'll put a light in it. Like it, love it, love it, like it, good. Um, let's put the light into it. Yeah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna show up very bright. Uh, let me turn the lights out. It's gonna go dark for a second, folks. Oh, hold on. If I turn that off, no, that will just turn. I got power to that should be fine there you go see so you can see the inside that's actually quite cool looking you can see the inside of the bottle with the light on and I think if you kind of put beads or something inside that it'll make it look even better do you know I like it anyway, it's different. Let me turn the lights back on. Woo! Here you go, folks. Like I say, that needs... That needs um, charging up. It's not at its full strength. Uh, you have to plug it in 
But um, yeah, I like it. I might just try and rub some sawdust into that and try and fill up the gaps. But as a concept, I think it's kind of cool looking. I like it. I like it. I think it's awesome, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Uh, I think it looks cool. Needs a bit of tweak. Yeah, it does need tweak him. But like, like any new idea, if it is a new idea, it's a new idea to me. Um, like any new idea, um, it's all process of elimination and working out. Um, I'll I'll work on the marking out of it, and uh, I think maybe easier cuts it would look better. But it's kind of got that river table look to it. I'll put some pictures up. I'll put some pictures up at the. Uh, uh, on Instagram and that in a few days when I've kind of finished it and stuff like that and you can have I think that would look cool with a darker wood maybe yeah you could put those fairy lights where you drop them inside it as well and that would look cool there's no end I mean at the end of the day you take broken bottles and you turn them into something and that's got to be good isn't it rather than all this throwing them away and destroying them I know glass is um, recyclable but still um, and then what you could do is you could turn the top I mean this is this was just ridiculous the amount of jagged edges I put on this but you could turn if that hadn't a cracked that's the bottom of this if that hadn't a crack just there's a huge big crack in it I could turn the top half then of the bottle and glue it onto that and that would look cool as kind of a yin and yang mirror effect um look which is what i'm going to aim for for the next one i'm going to try and cut it a bit a, a little bit more careful and kind of i'll turn the top for one and have the bottom for the other and i think it will look look cool as a set and then some drop some little fairy lights into it or whatever and there'll be good little vases or whatever um bud vases i think but there you go It's a, I'm going to put it down as a success. I think it's a success. It's different. It's unique. It's another Stevie Mad project. But I think it looks cool. Right, guys. Well, that's about it. Let me move to this. Let me uh, move to this so I'm not craning my neck, as they say. Um... You're going to look up my nose for a second, sorry. I'll back up a bit there. So, what are you saying? Looks great. Be cool pair of candle holders. Yeah, exactly. Another great project, great success. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I'll take them both. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, if, if they're successful when I make the, the pair, I'll send them over to you. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for the super chats. Thanks for sticking with me for I'm probably nearly two hours now at this stage, am I? Two and a half hours. Well, that's the fun of it. Uh, glad you enjoyed it. Glad it was a middling success. Um, next, next live, I'm probably going to either do something like this, uh, go through the steps of this. Um, all, all credit goes to Barbara Dill, to be honest with you. She is the queen of this, and I've learned everything to do with this um, from Barbara. She's an absolute lady. I, I, you know, I've messaged her and I've talked to her, and she's helped me out a lot. So. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying that stuff. So I might do something like that for the next live. Uh, that will be Sunday, just before the podcast. Uh, till then, I'll see you again, guys. Thank you very much. You are all awesome. Oh, hold on. Um, let me go over here where I hit the stop stream. But until next time, thank you for the super chats. Don't forget that what's tomorrow, Friday, um, 
what's the guy's name that's on tomorrow? Zach. Zach something. Zach. Zach, anyway, the guy that does all the resin and stuff like that, he's on tomorrow night live. So, the owner help, will you please? I'm rubbish with names and remembering names of channels and stuff. But I know he does a live on Friday. Um, and you know all the rest of the guys. Higgins, Zach Higgins, that's it. But until then, I am, and I know that a majority of you are. So what are we? We are members of the Banana Bunch. Don't forget to check out my Patreon, by the way. I'd love to have you as patrons. You get little bonuses and you get to become part of the actual official Banana Bunch. But until then, we are indeed fucking bananas. See you guys. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Uh, yeah, bye.